and welcome to the Warmest Machine Podcast. My name is Lindsay. This is a fiber arts podcast. I am a crocheter, a knitter, and a spinner. And this episode is the first in a series that I'm calling About Yarn. I'm going to discuss the structure of yarn, the materials of yarn, and how some yarns are better for certain projects and not others. And today's episode will be about plies. So first, what is a ply? Well, we first need to know what is yarn. Yarn is when you take a fiber or a substance, man-made or otherwise, and you add twist to it. And in the twisting of that fiber, those strands or those fibers lock and then they can't be pulled apart. And that is what um, yarn basically is. When we are plying yarn, we are taking that thread and adding it together with other threads so that they can lock together and make possibly a stronger yarn, a thicker yarn, or even, you know, just a, just a more plies in, in a yarn, adds a little bit more um, strength to a yarn or could add more consistency to the finished product. So today we are going to look at four different types of yarn. We're going to look at singles, yarn that has no ply, it's just the single strand. We are going to look at two ply, we're going to look at three ply, and we're also going to look at four ply yarns. Four ply and up are kind of the same, in a sense, um, that they do the same thing or that they can be considered, you know, kind of in the same category, four and up. Okay, so let's look at the yarn uh, right now. First, we are starting out with single ply. This is some hand spun that I spun up, I couldn't tell you when, but it's thick and thin in certain places and that's kind of the nature of single ply. It's going to have variations with it. But you can see this is pretty actually um, consistent right here. But if I bring it up closer, you see that there's still a fair amount of twist. It's a strong yarn. You can't just pull it apart and it's pretty soft, but it's, you see, I can just pull it apart like almost any other yarn. But that's it. That's a single ply. So let's look at this crocheted and knit it up. Okay. So this is a swatch of the single ply knit up. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a bias towards this side. Um, and that is something that happens in single ply yarn because you don't have another um, strand of yarn to help balance that yarn out. There's nothing wrong with knitting with single ply. People do it all the time. Um, and sometimes people even weave with single ply. Um, mostly what we're looking at is just the inconsistencies in the yarn can't be counterbalanced because there's this is the only strand, there's nothing else. And let me show you an example um, crocheted. So this is a crocheted example. As you can see, more inconsistencies can be seen here. Um, and this is just single crochet. I'm sure if there were double crochet, might be a little bit different, but again, the inconsistencies are way more uh, prevalent. So if I put them together, you can see that, yeah, this is a little bit more consistent than this, but the inconsistencies can pop out a little bit more in the crochet for single ply. Let's take a look at two ply yarn. This is two ply yarn from Knit Picks. It is um, Knit Picks palette, what I use to make my daughter's sweater. And what I'm gonna do right here is just untwist the plies. You can see that there's two plies here. This is 100% wool and wool will has scales um, if it's non-super wash and I'm pretty sure this is, it will just catch on itself. So we see the plies right there. 
and this is an oval yarn there's not a lot of roundness you can tell to the yarn i don't know if i can show it on camera but there's not a lot of roundness to this yarn this yarn is very oval and um so when you're knitting with it that will affect uh, certain projects in a certain way i have a swatch here that is knitted that i'd like to share this is a small swatch that is knitted and again this is just really really basic and there's nothing uh fancy about it um it's just a two ply yarn and two ply are great yarns for a number of different reasons they're great for beginner spinners to make um to learn about plying and they're great for all around everyday projects except for i would say socks um the only thing about this yarn is you can break it pretty easily i've break it i've broken it easier than that um when i've worked with it but you can see it breaks pretty easily and also the twist in this is not super duper strong uh, not super duper tight so if i talk about twist it's not twisted up too much so this is just every uh, so that is just a regular two ply yarn let's talk about three ply So this is some hand spun that I have, and I wanted to show you the hand spun, um, unspun, if I can do it. That's adding more twist. So I'm untwisting it so that you can see the different strands. And it is really, it's really caught on to itself, but you can see that the plies are coming apart and that little crimp right there. So this is this is definitely my hand spun um, <laughs> because I, I do it really tight. This was uh, spun for socks. This is a three ply, ply yarn that was spun for socks. Move this out the way so you can see. And you can see it's fairly tightly spun. However, uh, that hurt trying to break it so the three plies together um, make the yarn stronger and you can see here that there's a dense fabric made not very holy if we look at the two ply you can see that it's got some holes one by accident but more this is much denser fabric that's created Okay, three ply yarns can be used for anything, um, but two ply is better for lace and three ply is better for socks. And as I just said earlier, that two ply is not good for socks. Although some people will do it and it's not a big deal. It's just your, your socks won't last as long as you would like them to. This is Patton's Croy Sock Yarn. You can buy it almost at any big box store. And I am undoing the plies right now. Comes a little bit, comes apart a little bit differently than my hand spun. Um, yeah, we can see that we have four plies here. Four ply is amazing for socks. It is amazing for cables because this is a very, very round yarn. You can see that the yarn is um, rounder than, let me get our two ply. This is an oval shaped yarn and this is a rounder yarn. And you know, the twist is not the same. There's less twist in this and more twist in this. And we'll talk about twist um, in a future episode, but um, yeah, that's it for ply. Very, very round yarn. Um, is this yarn strong? Yes, yes, it's hurting my hand to, I can break it, but it hurts my hand. So four ply. Let me show you the swatches for four ply. So this is first crocheted in single crochet. And um, I love this gradient. 
<laughs> I didn't, when I did the knitted one too, I was like, wow. So maybe I should do something crocheted with this. Very, very gorgeous. Crochet is always gonna give you different kind of fabric. Um, but you see, it's not, it's not as holy as this, which is a little bit looser. It's got more gaps in it. This is much tighter. And these are all knit with the same, um, these are all fingering weight. I mean, this is technically fingering weight and areas, but even still, very, a lot of holes. This was all knit with the same, uh, crocheted, I'm sorry, with the same hook, which I believe is a 3.25 millimeter. Very nice. And this is the knit one. And as you can see, again, not too many holes in it that you can see. It's a dense fabric. It's the, all of the swatches are knit with a US one needle. So also the same, very nice. So now let's do some experimenting. So this is a shacked flick. It is used for um, processing raw wool. I bought it because I bought some unprocessed raw wool and uh, have yet to use it. So we're gonna take all of our samples and see how they um, stand up to this. Because the whole point of making a garment or making whatever we're making is that it lasts. These are all natural um, wools all natural fibers. So none of this is acrylic, none of this is bamboo, um, all of this is wool. And so I think the, let me see, the Patton's Croy sock has nylon in it. So these two samples have nylon, but everything else is just straight up wool. Let's start with um, our first sample, which is the single ply, or the single actually. The idea to call it a ply is actually very, the idea to call it, call it a ply is interesting. So what I'm, I'm gonna do the crochet first, we're just gonna, so that's what we get, <laughs> a little fuzzy wuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Um, that's not bad on crochet, but over time, that'll that'll get on your nerves. So that's what happened with this. Let's try it with the knitted swatch. One. That kind of held up pretty well, actually. It's just a little fuzzy. Hmm. Hmm. And I'll show you, you see, I don't know if you can see it, but all that wool just came up, it's kind of felting. So, interesting. I thought it would destroy this, if I'm being honest. Our two ply, so delicate. Okay, we, can you see from the side all that coming up? Ooh, that is gnarly. It held up, it didn't break, but we see it's pulling out some of, some of the stitches and it's really, really worn. More so than, more so than this. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, let's try three ply. This is three ply. I, I feel like this is gonna stand up amazing because I spun it. Barely a doggone thing happened, except for here, the stitches are coming out. 
but oh my goodness, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, let's try four ply crochet. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see how it kind of... This is interesting also. I thought this would last... Would That's the other side. I thought it would... Just a little bit. Some of the stitches are coming up too. Some of the strands of yarn within the threads are coming up and out. But for the most part, okay. All right, let's do the last one, knitted four ply. So again, some of the strands from the four ply are coming undone. We see a little bit of, you know, that, that coming out. Wow, 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 interesting, interesting. So what are some of my thoughts in my dirty glasses? Well, some of my thoughts are that um, I'm really impressed with single ply. I think that if you can get a good single ply, then you're good to go. A lot of what I've, we've been told about single ply might not be true, um, depending on how it was made, the fiber it was made out of, and the processing. Second thing is, I thought that, you know, crochet would be insulated from abrasion because of the nature of the stitches, and I was wrong. Um, is this, is this okay? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Uh, could it be better? Yeah. But, but the real winner, the real winners, I should say, is that the two ply didn't do as bad as I thought. And my hand spun is fantastic. My socks will last forever. Okay. I'm just happy I ran through this because, you know, I'm learning as you're learning. And so this was just a really fun, interesting experiment for me. So, um, okay. Well, that's, that's my, that's my episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I am here twice a month and I will come out with another, um, episode, um, in this series about yarn. And I'll also be doing updates to what I'm making and all that other fun stuff. Please join me. Please subscribe and like, uh, I'd love to have you with me on this wonderful journey and have a wonderful wonderful day. I'm so glad you got to see me in my glasses. I'm going to cut. Baby. Should I give you the glasses? <laughs>